You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hey guys and gals, Nery here from Drake Queen Gaming. It's Sunday Mount Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you to the Let's Play episode of Lust Shards, Tate's Path. So you got it right this time. <clears throat> Before we jump into it, y'all, I just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel and get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. And also, y'all, we've got our uh, movie night going down tomorrow. Um, it's $5 to get to the Discord, and then once you're in, you're in there permanently, and we're going to have a spooky movie night. We're going to watch one of my favorite horror movies, VHS, so y'all be able to chat with me in the community and also do voice chat, so that should be fun. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> so if you don't mind, I'll just... Wait! Ugh, what now? Please, I'll do anything. And you don't even have to be a member for life. You can just switch shards if you hate it so much and sorcery. Doesn't that sound like a decent deal? You're not wrong. Anything you say? Anything. You're one of those special guys, aren't you? A recommended student, I believe you're called. Yes, I am. What are your powers? I can manipulate energy and I have some supportive abilities on the side. Shit, that's pretty good. He thinks for a second. Fine, listen up. I'm all ears. I have the power to copy others' magic, but the problem is that I need their consent. It lasts for two weeks. If you let me copy yours for as long as I'm in the sorcery shard, every two weeks, I'll sign your list. Although I doubt I'll be staying in that shard after the test. Is this going to affect me in any way? Only for a minute. You'll feel a bit tired. You think it's safe, Scribbles? Sure, copying abilities usually doesn't bring harm to either parties, especially if you consent. And copying magic is usually much, much weaker than the original magic, so you're getting the high end of the deal. I accept. You're in luck. This is easier than I thought. And I'll take a blowjob, too. What? And I spoke too soon. You offered it to do it before. Shouldn't be a big deal, right? But you said... Do you see anyone around? Nobody else to do it with. The hallways are awfully empty and silent. And it just so happens I'm in the mood for one, and you're here. Also, you're not half bad looking. <sighs> do I do it? Oh, wow, this is a... Uh, uh, what happens if you don't do that? I'm gonna say nope, 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 and see what happens. No, 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 no. No? No. That comment from earlier? <laughs> I was just joking. Is that so? All right, then. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Please? Is my magic not good enough? You teased me already, so no, I need more. If you have nothing extra to offer, then I'm not interested. Damn it, why does this guy have to ask for such a reasonable and fair exchange? Can't he just accept a flying kiss or something? You're not that hot. How about I throw some cash instead? Such a big deal for you, huh? I'm even more intrigued about how you feel inside now. But I could actually use the cash. Give me enough to buy 20 blueberry blasts from the vending machine. Very specific, but okay, there you go. Up in my wallet, panicking at first since it's mostly empty, but then I remember my overly cautious mother who likes to shove money into various non-conventional places. So if my wallet is stolen, the thief would be tricked. And it's just a burden to me most of the time. I eventually find a small stack of money in a deep pocket in my backpack. Cool, this should do. Let's get on with it then. Give me your hand. I'm not gonna marry you as well, the I'm not gonna marry you as well, the fuck? <laughs> it's for the magic exchange. Oh. You're not the brightest, are you? There's no need to be this rude. He rolls his eyes as he pulls my hand closer. Why the fuck would you think that's what he means? Give me a break, I'm full of emotions. I keep my arm extended, embarrassed as he unbuttons my cuff and rolls my sleeve up, holding it with both hands. When you feel a tingling sensation, simply don't resist it and let some magic flow to your arm. I do as I'm told, and it only takes him a couple of seconds to complete the ordeal, leaving me slightly fatigued. <sighs> it should be enough. I come in useful during the test. So, where do I sign? Uh, my friend is the list. Just write your name in my phone and I'll sign it for you. Cool. Pleasure doing business with you. Now can I go? Yes, sorry for taking your time, and thanks for the signature. I watch him walk away with my allowance for two months in hand. This better be worth it. But in any case... Thank goodness we managed to do it. You did it. I'm not even sure I want a part in this. Suit yourself. I'll be the hero of the day by myself. All glory to me. There you go. Coffee time. 
Pod, what is this fucking elevator music? It's so silly sounding. Where'd you now? Back. Back where? Back where the cat told you to meet him. You have like seven minutes left. Shit. Toby managed to convince those two to sign. Hey! Please tell me you had some luck on your part. I managed to get one more person to sign. Did you get those two? Two? How'd you know there were two? Yet another convenient guess. Uh, suspicious, but yes. I did. And all I had to do is flirt with them for a minute. Men are so stupid. That guy wouldn't accept a blowjob and those two signed after some flirting. Chill out, Snow White. You're not the fairest of them all. You'll need, more than, you'll need more than looks to convince. We have to hurry back. Take my hand, I'll teleport us back. Hmm. Five, one, one, two, wait. We only have nine signatures. It's fine, I made peace with it already. We were close, but the headmaster was right. But, shall we go? Hang on, hang on tight. He takes my hand with the last warning and we teleport away. This is the first time I experienced something like this and my landing was very not very graceful, but I managed to remain on my feet. We arrive a minute early, right as the headmaster rounds the corner and enters the room together with a worried Marina, who quickly brightens up when he see, when she sees Tate with the list in hand. Ah, you're just in time. Let's hear the news. If that smile is genuine, then I'm bracing myself to faint already. Indeed, the cat had a smile on, but once again the eyes gave him away. His pupils were shaking as a thin layer of liquid made them refract in the light. Well, here it goes. Long story short, we didn't get to disappoint you on the first day. I'm sorry? At that moment, the decision was clear. I've been lying to myself for some time that any other choice could be made at this point, so I take the paper and sign my own name on it. The three people are taken aback by my decision. Name and name to Mark. What? That dude's name is Mark Plyer. What the fuck? I love that. The headmaster accepts the list hesitantly, looking at me through squinted eyes once he reads it. Name? Name two? Hmm? Oh, I forgot that's not how that works. I'll fix it for him. What is your last name again, Travis? White. Travis White. Oh my god, Travis White. That's, a, that's so silly. Travis White. Travis White. Understood. And are you sure? A last second decision? It's not what I expected from you. It's not last second. I've been thinking about this for months. I admit, I have my, I've had it in my doubts for a little while now, but Tate's dedication really inspired me and solidified my decision. I did that? The headmaster looks impressed and annoyed at the same time while holding the new list. His expression turns to confusion again. There are only nine in here, counting yours. I knew I should have paid more attention to math. Huh? It would seem like even your chivalry couldn't... Oh, wait, sorry, just a second. I take the list back and write the name of the guy from before, Connor Murphy. You really forgot to sign you really forgot to sign him? Don't blame me, I was under a lot of stress. Here. Everyone other than the headmaster breathe out, relieved. He reads every single name on the list one by one, twice, to see if there are any mistakes, but he just can't find any. He wouldn't be surprised if I wouldn't be surprised if he memorized every name in this academy already. This looks legit, for now. I do, however, want to remind you. The signatures won't be valid if they don't pass the auditions. Got it. Speaking of, where should we hold the auditions this year? There are a lot of empty training rooms right now. The biggest one in the East Wing could... No, not a training room. We'll use the arena. Won't the arena be busy tomorrow? We're holding practice sessions the whole day. Yes, and I think that would be the perfect opportunity for the new students to audition, no? Just give them a bit more of a challenge than the others. I decided to, I decided to spectate the event as well. Second, Neil. Coffee time. Man, he is really intent on watching Tate fail. Kind of a dick. Well, yeah, he's a big. He's he's he is a dick. That's some of you call him sexual assault daddy. I know teachers usually don't get involved, but since it's my first year, I want to see with my own eyes that everybody's capable of. Hey, the practice is supposed to be our free time, and and a chilling stare shoots at Tate. And I think that's a great idea. Understood. I'll make the new plans for tomorrow then. Good. I suppose I don't have anything else to complain about. Aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? What would that be? Me and Tate just did the impossible. At least what you thought would be so. Don't we get anything? At least an apology? But you were wrong. Once again, everyone holds their breath, waiting for the lion's response. Please don't aggravate the lion, dude. 
If these signatures are proven to be valid, then you have my sincerest congratulations, and perhaps a credit bonus can be discussed in the future. Are you satisfied now, Mr. White? I'm all good now, sir. And if nobody has any more interruptions, I'll take my leave. Good day. Watching the Headmaster leave, one single worry remains on my mind, and that is Cole. Hope he can pull his weight, magicless as he is. He is a recommended student, but if he's anything like me... Actually, it seems like another problem arises as a teary cat jumps into my arms. You did it! You madman! You're such a badass! Wow, I cannot believe someone that I can, that can't recognize a trap in the middle of the day would get me out of trouble! Even if I fail to do that sometimes... I'll leave you two to it now. I need to find Ollie and discuss these audition plans. Honestly, the headmaster needs to tone it down with the changes around here. You should propose that to your new lion friend the next time you see him, Travis. He's not my friend. What? I already jumped to the lovers? Ugh, you're a headache! I've been told- I've been told so many times. Something tells me you two will get along just fine. Have fun! See you later, Marina. She leaves, swinging her tail lightly, and my eyes can't help but follow her until she's out of sight, as even my legs take a step towards the direction she disappeared to. Huh, interesting. Hey, hey, eyes here, buddy. Busted. Huh? Did you get smitten or something? What, am I not sweet enough for your eyes? He turns around and swings his tail and his hips the way Marina did, but approaches me while doing it instead of walking away. No, that's not it. You're cute. I mean, cute too. I mean, Marina, the who? Aw, the sweet smell of insecurity. Don't worry, you can't escape my grasp anyway. What does that mean? Oh, you know. I, I don't. Then let me show you. Huh? And it looks like we have company already. It's been nice not being tailed for two hours, at least. He's gonna give him a kiss, wasn't he? A wild tiger and a wolf appear, just as Tate's sharp ears predicted. Two for the price of one. Aiden's hand stopping whatever Tate was about to do. Dallin comes in with the energy of a lost puppy reunited with its owner, and his tail wagging aggressively. While Aiden is as cool as ever, just a little angry at the, at the cat's lack of personal space awareness. Those two do make a nice yin and yang. Hey there, Travis. Ooh, excuse me. Mm. Still here. Do you want another speech from Mr. Boredom over here? I wasn't that boring. Oh, was I? I don't know. I was asleep. Oh. I was just helping Tate complete his list to get out of the detention. Huh. Good luck with that. The headmaster likes the headmaster likes giving impossible tasks just to see you struggle and punish you in the end. He's a prick. Language. Sorry. Aiden looks me dead in the eye, shaking his head. Actually, we completed the list. Officially, I'm a free cat. Nice job. I knew you could do it, even if you had some help. No, you didn't. You were complaining you'll have to spend time watching him in detention for the next three days. Second, yeah. Coffee time. I was just preparing for the worst case scenario. Worst? Gee, thanks, guys. Such great friends you are. I'm not your friend. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll take my actual friend and spend some quality time with him. The one that actually cares about my well-being. How does that make you feel, Aiden, being left behind by your friend? I literally... I literally prayed for your death many times in the past. He's joking. I'm not. <laughs> He's such a jokester, this guy. He's not usually like this, Travis, I promise. Instead of spending time with this leech, you can do something that is not a complete waste of time and come with me and Dallin. And do what? Crotch it? Get familiar with the school, something that you would technically be best at, but you're too childish to do. Sorry. Sorry, can't hear you over the sound of boredom. That doesn't even make sense. Your face doesn't make sense. Grrr. Calm, Aiden. A single punch from you would kill. He's talking to himself now. Cool. See, Travis? Nuts. And not the good kind. Anyway, what do you think, Travis? We're serious about the offer. It's your time, but you start your time. You choose how you choose how you want to spend it. Go with the cat. Don't want to go with Tate or stay in this room to see what other interesting things might happen. <sighs> Another adventure already? You sign me in. Woohoo! Are you sure, Travis? That seems a little dangerous for a first year. After all, you'll be leaving the barrier. If Tate's previous adventures are any indication. Yes, I think it's best that we come with. Tate lets out a warning hiss that is actually pretty scary. You're only ever afraid of a cat when the series claws come out, and this is that kind of moment. Both guys are taken aback, even more than I am. I think you forget I'm no longer a little baby yet to fall around everywhere. Me and Travis can handle ourselves. How dangerous can it be? 
Well, if we take out the few existence erasing nightfall and that we're still roaming the forest, oh god, that's horrifying. The existence what now? Bzz. Hold on. Shit, down. Chelsea texted. We got a code W. A witch hunt already? Those damn defenders. All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause it right there. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye!